This is Oog from eHow Web Design. In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick to edit a page on a live website um, which you want to publish later without having to do all the work immediately or create new pages using the Beaver, Beaver Builder template system. So here's the page I have uh, called Distillery Tools and we want to make fairly substantial changes to this page um, but this will be done over a course of time and not published until later. So the process I would follow is this. Um, first of all, um, just for safekeeping, I would go into the page builder um, and I'm going to save this entire page as a template um, just in case um, anything happens and if I want to recover it later. So for this, I'll go into Tools, Save Template, and I will give it a name, say Backup Template, and save. I'm not actually going to save that because I've already done this um, prior, but this is the process you'd follow, and I would simply save the content of the page as a template. Um, so that you can start work later. So I'm going to cancel out of that. Imagine that's saved. I'll just done publish changes. So that's the first step. My existing page is now saved as a template. I can recover at any time later. Now the next stage will be to create a brand new template from this page. So I'm going to go into my dashboard, look for the Builder tab, and in the Builder tab select Templates. Within Templates you can see I've got a few here. I'm going to Add new um, and call it a test template. Um, the type is template. Um, add it. Now that it's added, I will launch the page builder and it is here that I will design my template. Now, because the page we're trying to design actually takes a lot of the um, design cues from the page that already exists, if you've um, and this is why it's good to have to save the original page as a template, I would go and bring that current page into here to start my design. So I would go Templates. Um, in this particular case, it's actually the Campfire tools that we're interested in. So I would bring that in, um, and that is the template of my existing page I can start modifying, and I can work on this to my heart's content. Um, delete elements, create new elements, do whatever I want, because I'm no longer working on the live page, I'm now working on a page template. So whatever I do, it doesn't affect the um, live website. And if the worst happens and I get this wrong, I can always reload the template and make my changes again. So let me click. Um, let me uh, click out of that and imagine I'm ready and publish my changes. And my template is ready. I can come back to it and make changes whenever I like. Now we've actually got a template already um, ready to go live for this particular page. So I am now going to um, show the next phase which is to bring the template into the existing page, a new template into the existing page and make the whole page live, which is completely seamless um, and makes your work live immediately, um, even though you may have been working on it for quite some time. So to do this, um, we are on the tools page, which actually we're not, we're on the template. So I'm going to go to the tools page. Um, need to be a little bit careful, obviously, that you're on the right page, but this is now the existing tool page. This is a live page on the website. So I'm going to start the page builder. Um, and rather than replace the whole content, I prefer to append the template at the bottom of the page and then get rid of the old content so I um, make sure I only get rid of what I need. So for this, I'm going to go into templates. Um, and the template I've actually already got prepared is this called Tools 2018. So this is going to replace my existing page. So I'm going to click on this. And because there is already content on the page, I have the choice to either replace the existing layout or append the new layout. And I'm going to append it so it appears at the bottom, and then I'll delete the old elements as I go. So click Append. And if I go down the page, you will see that as I get down the page, there's a repeat of it, but it looks quite different because this is my new template that's come to the bottom. So all I need to do now, and I'll get rid of this for clarity, all I need to do that is delete the old elements and I will do that row by row. So I've got a, a row here with um, the arrow bands. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove this row. I'm going to remove this row. Uh, this is slightly, you don't have to do it this way, but I prefer it that way. I'll need to delete the elements I need to and delete that row. And you can see I'm back at the top. Here's my text. And here is my new template into the existing page. And as soon as I click done and publish this, it will make the changes live on the website. Publish changes, it's all done. 
And if I now, I'll go back to the home page and just to prove my point, I will now navigate to the tools page and the page with the new design is live on the site. And that's it. So this is quite a useful trick. Um, as I say, um, there are other ways to do it. You could create an entirely new page somewhere else, block search engines from finding it. It's, it's a bit more complex. Um, this way, uh, because the Beaver Builder templates are not indexed by search engines, you can work in the background for days, weeks, months, um, and then use a simple trick to transfer a template to a live page to replace its content without having to do any kind of redirects or anything. So I hope this has been um, clear and useful. Um, and um, that's it. Enjoy. Bye-bye.